All right, so here we have uh, some um, quizzes and questions that are stored in Mongo. Uh, we also create some relationship between the quizzes uh, that, uh, that you know, some quizzes are made up of certain questions, right? So here, quiz A has one question and quiz B has these two questions. So let's see how we can interact uh, with uh, now with these questions and maybe retrieve the, the, all the questions or, or a specific question. Um, right, and all the quizzes that contain all those questions. So let's uh, head over to Node.js and create a schema that will allow us to uh, interact with these questions. All right, so back in Node.js, and we're going to, in our models directory, we're going to create models for these uh, questions. So let's uh, create an, a, um, a new directory where we can work with questions. So this will be questions. And in here, we'll create the schema for the questions. So we'll say, uh, TypeScript here, uh, JavaScript. So we'll, this will be uh, questions.schema.server.js. Uh, and so in here, we'll uh, load the mongoose library. So const mongoose require mongoose. Uh, and then we'll create these, the, the schema for this. It will be the uh, questions schema will be uh, mongoose.schema and the structure uh, will be that it has what? Let's see. Um, so the questions have the following structure. Let's see. Uh, they all have a title. So this will be a title is a string. Right. Um, uh, so so we could we could have that uh, the, the, the the title is um, uh, we could we could further configure this uh, not only just say that it's a plain old string. Uh, we could additional have configurations such as, for instance, we might say that, well, you know, if um, you know, if we use this this syntax where right, where where we not only just provide the the uh, the data type, uh, but instead we use an object, right? We can we can not only specify what the data type is, but we additionally can provide certain things, right? Uh, so we can we can provide, uh, for instance. Um, we can say that the 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 default value uh, for this uh, for this question, right? We can say that the default, right, is that uh, this is a new question. Uh, so if you don't provide the title, uh, I'm just gonna you know by default choose that 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 value. So yeah, so the object uh, you know syntax allows us to further configure uh, each one of our uh, our fields, right? Let's keep going. Uh, we have a question. So question is also a string, but again, we can we could configure certain things, right? We could say that, hey, you know, you can't have a question without a question. So so this is kind of required. You have to give me a question, right? So again, we can specify that by provide using the um, configuration object. So not only is this a string, but it's also required. So we can say required true. Okay. Uh, how about correct? So correct, right? It's also a string. Again, we could um, specify here that uh, it is required, right? That you have, you can't have a question without the correct answer. I'm going to leave that uh, for you folks. Uh, but the type, type is also a string. Yeah, okay, it's also a string, but um, it's not just any string. It's a string that needs to have specific values, right? We should, we can't, we shouldn't be able to just put any string here. Right, we should be uh, you know, add some some uh, constraints, right, and make sure that it's uh, either right a multiple choice or true false or a, you know fill in the blanks or whatever, right, an essay question. So so we're going to configure that yes, it is a string, but further than just being a string, it can only be strings taken from the following enumerated uh, options, right. So this can only be either a true false, right? It could be multiple choice, right? Or any other values that might you might want to put here. Maybe it's an essay. Right? It's an essay question. Okay. And finally, uh, some some questions depending on the type, whether it's a true false or a multiple choice, you might have a choices here, right? A choices array. So it's an array. Uh, but we want to specify it's an array of what, right? So we need we want to say that these are arrays of strings. Right? So you can put the data type in here, strings like that, right? Uh, so furthermore, right? We want to 
connect this, this schema and say that this is describing and is going to connect and, uh, and, um, and is referring to a collection that already exists or created for us, right? And the collection is called questions, right? There you have it. So this is, this is the structure of the question. The questions, we, we, we're going to export this so that folks can, can then use it uh, to, uh, to describe other schemas, right? So for instance, we can do a module that exports, and these are the question schema. Actually, now, now it can be used by other schemas to maybe create more sophisticated, more complex uh, schemas. 